So all this time we've been talking about arithmetic sequences, now we're talking about arithmetic series. Now what's an arithmetic series? Well an arithmetic sequence is just numbers that go up with a common difference. Okay, so the common difference is 3 there. And then you want to know what is term 50, let's say. An arithmetic series is interested in not finding out what term 50 is, but it's interested in adding all of these numbers together and finding out what they add up to. So the question is, take the number 1, 4, 7, 10, blah, 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 all the way up to whatever the 50th term is, and uh, let's find out what they add up to. Big question mark. This is really, the proof for this is really, really cool. So I'm going to speedily find out what term 50 is. Well, term 50 is going to be equal to A uh, plus uh, 50 times the common difference. And the common difference is 3. So 1 plus, um, 1 plus 150, so 151. All right, so there's my 50th term. So now that I know that term 50 is 151, I don't need that anymore. Uh, now let's just count backwards a little bit. If term 50 is 151, the term before that is going to be uh, 148. And the term before that is going to be 145. And the term before that let's just do one more, it's going to be 142. And But there's a whole bunch of terms in the middle here. I'm just going to denote that with a dot, 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 and a dot, dot, dot. Okay, and so there's like probably 40-something terms right in the middle there. Now, this is where the, the maths is really, really cool. I'm going to take these numbers and I'm going to start counting upwards. 1, 4, 7, 10, and I might just do one more, 13 and then dot, dot, dot. There's a bunch more over there. Now I'm going to start at the 50th term, and I'm going to go 151, 148, 145, 142, and one more, 139, dot, dot, dot. And there's a bunch more terms here and a bunch more terms here. Now, check it out. Boom, 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 boom. Add them all up, 152, 152, 152, 152, 152, and a bunch more. So, this brings me to our arithmetic series formula, or at least one of the formulas we can use. The sum of an arithmetic series, so if we're using a series, we're going to say Sn is going to be equal to the first number, which we can call A, plus the last number, uh, which we can call L. And then we just need to say so that A plus L is 1 plus 151, which is 152. And we just have to think how many 152s are there? Because if I can add up all the 152s, then I'll have my final answer. I would have added up all the numbers. So there's 50 terms in total. I've taken half of the numbers and written them along the top. I've taken half of the numbers and written them along the bottom. So if there's 50 numbers in total, that means there's 25 pairs of numbers, half of that. So that's n over 2. So here's one formula for the sum of an arithmetic series. Uh, it's n over 2 times the first number plus the last number. So in this particular example, Sum of 50 is equal to 1, oops, uh, let's get rid of that, 1 plus uh, 151 uh, times 50 over 2. And my answer is 3,800. It's an important formula, but there is another sort of, I guess, more formal formula that I probably need to talk you through. So um, the other formula that you'll need to know is the sum is equal to n over 2 times, um, now it's going to be 2a plus uh, n minus 1 d. Okay, and so you might be thinking, uh, uh, they look kind of similar, but why 2a and why this n minus 1 d? Okay, so... Uh, a plus L 
is the first term plus the last term, right? And the first term is A, and the last term is uh, A plus N minus one times D. And so that's just our uh, finding out our last term of an arithmetic sequence, or the term of an arithmetic sequence, I guess. And so you can see that's where my 2a is going to come from because my a plus my a is going to make 2a. And so now I am 2a plus n minus 1d. So there is our other formula. Both of those formulas can be used uh, to calculate the sum of an arithmetic series.